Hello everyone, Me Phone 4 here, and we are back for another Stanley Cup Playoffs. This is Game 6, as right now this team is about to be heading its way to make a run and pay for what they've got. So right now the Wilds have not give up the game just yet, they still have more to keep on going. Now this next matchup will be the Hurricanes and Islanders to keep it on going. They'll have to see what they can do to make it count. Other game is a very hard will make to maintain a run and give it off their gun. It's not a, it's not a very close to this matchup, but don't be honest, they really have been turned out one of their play plays in the game. So this is the next matchup that we're about to see. The lead series is the Hurricanes 3-2 over the Islanders. But the question is, can they tie the game? Or will the Hurricanes take him out and move on and take on against the New York Rangers? We'll find out here, as right now, the game is about to start, and we are ready to go. Now, for the next commentator, I will have is Stan, along with Son of Beast. And on the center ice, we have is, of course, Silver Spoon. I'll see you all later for the post-game show, and let's get going. Guys, all for you. Enjoy. The new arena in Game 6 of the UBS is happening now. Islanders and the Canes. Hello everybody, I'm Fan along with Son of Beast and Silver Spoon. This is NHL on EA Sports. Coverage of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. We are about to get started here right now. The courtesy lineup is being here as followed. We have his lead. Right from the back of the other hand we have his Horvath. And we got a goal! A starting run for the captain. It's Lee with a goal. That put back in here for Lee has put up a great run of the start. It looks like that the Islanders are getting to a good getting to a stronger early lead, and they're putting up a lot of pressure to get right around him. What a shot made and a good job by Andrews, who made that one a good job with the lead of the run and made it back toward it again. Now back the other way we have his Mayfield. Across from the angle, we have uh, it across his Horvath. From the Hurricanes, we have his Jarvis. Then it's Jacob Slavin on a defenseman. Then it's Sebastian Ajo right towards the wing. Svechikov right towards the right towards the wing on the outside. And finally we have his, you know, his Jarvis. The starting goaltender we have is Ilya Sorokin. And the other side we have is has Malik Anderson. Anderson has a lot of it to make their responses after playing with the last game against the New York Rangers in the Stanley Cup playoffs for last year. This was the only play that they were ever making it before. For his debut, he has a lot of it in termination for making this part of the game that more successful than the range. Every turn turns out, he has a lot of it to take over from the, the range from the inside. The hard one is maintained and they may have another one to get it over. Gary going for this period. Islanders got a great start here in the first period. It's a 1-0 run over the Hurricanes. Now here's Pollock over to Palmieri. Skedgy's got the puck here right across the wing. Nekas on the outside, now swinging it over. Lost the puck, however, now finds Paris. Paris gets bumbled up. Scoop all along the board by Palmieri. Now on the other side, he fires the puck around the board net. Pesh gives it out to Terabine. Sketchy hops the puck. The Hurricanes are in the run. Two on two, three on two. Lost the puck instead. Paris gives it over to Nelson. Now the New York Islanders are back in the offense to pick up their shift. Pesh over to Nekas. Right towards the outside of a wing. Cross the line, Terabinian shot! Stop made by Sorokin. When Sorokin gets a good one to take the heavy on the saves, he has more precision to make that one a lot that harder in the attacker range. The motion on the outside is a maintain of this run, because that is a harder one to get over the line. With the stop made by Sorokin, now back the other way, we have Vizizikas. Islanders finds Romanov. Over to Martin. Slap shot! 
That stop made by Anderson. Anderson had a really hard one in picking up the picking up the shift. Cannot be stopped. Stall right over to Nekas. Carolina back the other way over to Morton. Little bam up in the corner of the wall. Nanka, a shot, rebound stopped by Sorokin. Sorokin will hold the puck there with only 14.27 to go in the first period. Now they're ready to do this one again. The score now is still 1-0 over Carolina. Now they're back to resume the play. Here's another look here for Sizikas. Now back to run. Sizikas. Shot! That gets blocked up and right towards the wall. Rebounds. Fires the puck. Saved me by Anderson. Zizekas right over again to Martin. Martin lost the puck. Now over again we have his stall. Stall in the middle. Oh, great stop by Elias Sorokin. Fast shot. Stop made by Sorokin. He's got a really good save out there. Might be keeping an eye on the run. Do that one again. Officially getting ready to get set here on ice, and right now we're getting ready for the face off to be popped. Now over again, this is just slabbing. Gets knocked down. Dops in. Rolls over to Kovola. Now Holmstrom will take it over. Now on the other side, Burns. Burns trying to swing the puck right over across again. But the shot! That's another kick saved by the goaltender. Koyovola up and over the wing. Stepan takes the puck. Puck moves over. Transition from between the trick, a good save. Bumps out of here. Wow, got a little roughing out there. Shots in. In the middle, gets a little piece of it, and Stepan shot, stopped by Sorokin. They'll hold the puck with just 11.51 to go in the first period. They're going to have to uh, carry it on right now because that's like a little like a little fire drill here trying to put up a puck save. But you just got to like hold it quick before the protection comes in loose. Here's Mayfield on the outside. Gets it right over to Horvath. Over and under. And a stop made by Anderson. We'll have to give that one a, good, a quick play because this is a hard one that they are trying to maintain and keep. The pressure really has to keep on going. And if you're watching the Stanley Cup playoffs right on your streaming devices, we've got the Knights moving up to the next round to face against the winning team, and they definitely made that one a great stop. They're excellent right now because the Vegas Golden Knights have been a popular team since they made it to the Stanley Cup playoffs for the first time in the franchise history. That's because they noticed that they're a really, really good team. And then without the Seattle Kraken, this is their second time to play it and their first time in the franchise history of the Stanley Cup playoffs. It looks like it could be a tough one to be out of the angle, but if we see the Kraken win again an uh, avalanche, they might be moving on and they, they could face against the next winning team in the game. Here's Lee. Now we're on the other side, passing the midway period. Mayfield across. Nekis with a stop. Aho, deliver over the pass. Pass on the move. Shot deflected off of Pelich. Now back to Mayfield on the other side. Here's the number one for Pelich. Mayfield passing is broken up and Nekis takes the puck away. Now Terabinian will take it over in the corner. For the shot, Katemi gets a good rejection out of it. Turbine into Nekis. Throw the man. That stop the made by Sorokin. Battling across the wall. For the loose puck, Mayfield. And finds Paul Mary. Paul Mary getting it over a bit. Moving around the other side. And says Gedji will take the puck away. Here's another whip here. And back to Stahl. Here's a shot. Stop made by Sorokin. Better save than ever than being sorry because that was a very close call that they were getting it in through. Both players are ready to get set here on ice. The score is still 1-0 over the Carolina Canes. And now they're up to it to do it again. 
He doesn't have an angle. Off to Nelson. Puts the pass right back to Paris. Gets bumped up and Marnock will have it over. Puck carries off the side of, a, of his own. Now swings to Marnock. Carrying along the puck, we have a shot scene right towards the wing. Passing seven minutes to play in the first period of the game. Now over to Romanov. Romanov finding the puck over. He swings off to Nelson and it goes back to Stepan. And no penalty called on New York Islanders. They're still clean because they're really uh, good on the offense. They just really wanted to like keep the puck out of here, out of, out of the way. But they don't want to do that. They wanted to like just stay around here and keep the puck out of the zone. That's because they really wanted to do and then get it right in the net. Now he's another angle here as Nelson has the puck carry. He fires up again to step on. Now he's in the corner right now, getting chopped up a bit. Over and under again. Here's Fashing. Passing five minutes to go in the first period, it's still a one nothing game. Martin shot stopped by Anderson. We'll hold the puck here with just under five minutes. And we got the faceoff coming up. With the better play of this motion, Alvo's got a foot eye of his ability of this offense. The play inbound is a tough one to find an open players on the, in the wing, in the center, and sometimes, however, going from the opposition in between the zones, with a deflection right towards the goal. Ilya Sorokin makes that one a post to post saves here in the game. He made that one a great stop. All he makes the, makes the run with a wild save in his motion. The under attackers are very that insane. I'll be watching on one of the player of Sorokin and for Sebastian Arthur, and I will find out who will take it over with the win. Get back to you guys. The puck carries along around the net. Burns will try to deliver it. Kicks the puck. Now finds Sebastian Ajo. Looks over to Stretchikov. On the other way now for the, for the yellow. And Dobson takes it over. Bailey has the puck now moving in. Puck carries out of the zone. Burns lifts off to cross the Slavin. Now again to Yarvis. Back to Katemi. Katemi shot stop made by Sorokin. Fighting for the rebound is Katemi. Shot stop. Good save here by Ilya Sorokin. That's what they were doing. They were just trying to attack him. They were just putting up a lot of storm and they were just keep on going. They just really wanted to like just go keep on attacking, attacking, attacking. That's what everybody was doing. But I don't know if this will happen. Slavin right towards the puck, under two minutes left. Teravainen's shot gets rejected up by Lee. Orad right towards the offense. Back to Engvall. Shot! It gets the flick it, and it's right up towards the netting. Now they're ready to do another face-off. Horvath wins the face-off. Romanov right toward the wing, back over to Lee. Lee swings to Romanov. Over again to Pollock. Shot blocked. Engvall shot. Good save made by Anderson. Holy Anderson just really got to keep it going. That was very uh, tough. tough. And they really got to do this one again every time. Along the way, they can't get away with them. Now they're ready to take the gliders into the face-off position. It is a one nothing lead, and Romanov's shot goes wide. Paris back to Nelson. Down to under a minute to play in the first period. Now Marinik will have it on the offense zone. In the center... Romanov swings to Paris. Paris in his own. One and two! Stop by Anderson. Sketchy towards the offense zone. Now by it over to Fast. He waits around, finding a main opener. To Marta. To make the buzz beater, it's bumped up, and that will end the first period. What a great early start for the Islanders. They've got a great play in bounding. And with a lot of defensive hustle in the rebound, they've got it all. One up is the score. Be right back after this. And we 
we are back here at the UBS Arena to start period number two. And we are off. The start of it is turning out to be a one nothing lead for the Islanders. Let's have your take for the words here, Senate Beast, and a gesture of how they did in the first period. They were really a tough and aggressive to play that one on the line. Whenever they do here in our plays, they keep it out here for one particular way to make that one count. They're really aggressive and they are just a lot of a good hustling back. They've done a very good job here to try to make the pass out of it. Aggressive and try to block the shot. An excellent play for 31 as we already have talked about it before about Elias Sorokin that he was making a great save. He was out there doing his own. His best work never succeeds the job. But he's done a particular job to do one of a kind and make that one maintained to do the best one as he can. Anderson makes a stop and Slavin back over again to Ajo. Carolina Hurricanes are in the offense run. Svechikov to Jarvis with the puck. Lost the puck here and now it goes to Pelic. Pelic brings to Horvath, now over to Lee. Lee towards the right wing. Burns takes it over. He tries to settle in. Holds on. Burns gives off to Slavin. Slavin toward the right on the outside. Gets bumped up. Hello. Wow. That tough one's out there. Slavin was bumping in like he's crazy. He couldn't get the puck back because he, the, the hockey stick back because he just had to go right now and get it. Anderson will hold a big save here. We're just coming down to 17.24 to go in the second period. Now they're ready to get set here on ice. Score right now is a one nothing game for Islanders. With the win, here's Mayfield. In the middle! It's stopped again by Anderson! And pass with the puck. Now racing toward the offense zone in the Islanders territory. Gets jumped up already and now it's Pellets with the puck. Now swing to Nelson. Nelson toward the offense run. To stop the run, and down in no traffic here, Anderson big save. Paris in the middle, pass with the puck, now going right over to the offense zone. Getting bumped up here. Now Pellets will take his own in, and Katemi shot, what a save by Sorokin. Tara Heinen is stepped up right under the wall, and we got a penalty call, and that will be on the Islanders with a holding. Scott Mayfield is in a penalty box. You're not supposed to board on that play because that is a hard one to maintain it with a holding pull to try to like pressure it out. You can't let the other players do that. That will be a tough run to try to like take it inbounding. And the Hurricanes are ready to take their first power play for the first time in game six. Now Polar will makes it over to Pola. He will try to clear the puck out. Now Sketchy has the puck. He will slide it over to Ako now to Svechikov. Svechikov right towards the right side of the wing. Gives the puck over. And stopped by Soroka. Soroka's going to hold on right now for with only 15.28 to go in the second period. Now they're back in the offense, ready to go. Here on the other side, as the puck carries out. Skedgy, rolling it over to the offense side to take over the run. Takes a big kick and Teravine and has the puck. Slides it across to Ako. Just under a minute to play for the power play for the Hurricanes. In the middle, Svechikov shot. Club saved by Sorokin. Sorokin got a good heavy on this one. He is trying to hold it from here. Don't let it go right around it, because that will be out of here. Now they're ready for another faceoff. The score is still coming into its run, and right now it's still a 1-0 lead. Here's another offense to take over. On the other side. We'll have to carry the puck on the offense of the, of the run in the corner. And shot saved me by Sorokin. Fling the puck out with a zone. We're down to 10 minutes. Anderson gets the burns. Looks like Mayfield's ready to go. 
Power play is over for the Carolina Hurricanes. They're back to an even strength. They're a very good job doing the offense of this run because a lot of the Islanders are trying to recruit. They have to retreat back. They really have to keep it going. They have to try to find out what the other mans are trying to like give it an open shots. They're trying to pass them over, but they did really well playing on defense to give up the run. Shot stop made by Soroki and a big stop. Chassis gets bumped down in the corner. Romanov over the lead, now in the offensive territory. And Mike is recovering the puck. And he was in a home bench. Horvath's got the puck. Right across the zone. Anderson, big save. Holding right here with 12.28 to go in the second period. With the tough players inbounding, it's still a 1-0 game for the Islanders. They're still in a hustling run bound, but they've never really done a lot of it since their last game was at, was away here at Carolina. They were really that tough. The odyssey of Anderson was very picking up the pace here. They were already on a good adoption. But not to tell that in game two was a big crush out because of the Islanders, they were definitely putting their way on the run to attack them. They have no degree to take it over for the Everlay, and they just can't believe what they are going to do. Don't you ever say they just really wanted to give up? Others say they want to keep going. They have nowhere else to find out, and they could just try to f figure it out. What will the next play be? There's a lot of a hard roughness on the game, but don't get too comfortable if you're going to get over. Stahl wins the faceoff. Sketchy gives it stall. Carolina reaching over the attacking. Around the net. Alex will take it over. Behind the net to Fashion. Gala bumped up already out of his own. In the zone now is Pex. Over to Martin now. Over to Stall. Stall on a 2 on 1. Blocked up by Mayfield. Now he moves quickly over to Zizekas. Right towards the offensive line, he fires the puck around the net. Now DeHaan's got it now. Passing the midway period in a second. Here's Fraz. In the corner, get bumped out and put a revenge on a fist fight. All they have to do, they just want to like, they could just try to mess them up. Same thing that the Devils and the Rangers do, they always mess it up because they got a crazy fight going on. That's because they're rivals. And same thing that goes to the Carolina Hurricanes, their rival team was the Washington Capitals. They are definitely putting a lot of fist fight to put it over and under. Shot stop made by Anderson. Now here's Alvaro right towards the center of the ice. Over again to Fast. Fast to Stetchikov, shot stop made by Jorokin. Covering really Puck. Now on the other side, he have his pellage. Sebastian Ago trying to take it over and fast. The Ago shot is to flip it off the skater and now into the cross of the wall. And we got a penalty call. This will be on New York. And that will be a holding call. Not the way you want to do. But the slashing, however, Kyle Palmieri just really just blew it out. That was not the best way that they are picking it up again. Power play coming up for the Carolina Hurricanes. Right now we're down to 7.58 to go under 8 minutes. And it's still a 1-0 game. Now Pollock will take the winning faceoff. Clear the puck out right towards the Carolina zone. Sketchy right toward his stats knee. Now finds Nekis. Hurricanes regroup the puck. Jarvis right towards the inside. Romanov. Got a little bump up over here. Pollock swings it around the back. Terramini regroups the puck here. Now gives it over to Jarvis. 7-10 left to go in the second period. Now to Nekis. Shot. Went tip wide. On the defender and now rolls back again. Here's Servine, and he will take the puck right towards behind the net. Now finds Nekis. Nekis towards the wing. In the puck now, looking for an offense run to Terramainen. 
Seji with the puck. Back over again to Nekas. Finds Sarabon and shoots and stop made by Sorokin. Bolak resets to clear it out. They could definitely tell you that his reaction from Sorokin was turning out to be very that quick. It was very tough to see how this come out, but it all does say it's a hard one to relieve it. And Palmieri's ready to get out there. Power play is over for the Hurricane Kings, and now it's back the other way. Nelson on a fast break, Jay! Scores! Brock Nelson receiving a fast break, and they have a 2 to nothing lead. The better fast break for Brock Nelson turned out to be that quick. After the power play is over, he maintained his run. He says, I'm coming, here I come. That was the one that Brock Nelson did. His run out is to be a blowout that he has ever done. What a play for Nelson, and I'll be watching him right on ice for the next part of the game in the shift. Back to you guys. So Robert's going to carry the puck here with 5.16 to go in the second period. And now the center glass has been glided up, and now they're in for the faceoff. Horvath wins the faceoff. Taking it over is Katemi with a stick lift. Valley with a loose puck. Tara Vinen moves it in and he scores! They are now on the board and Tara Vinen says, I've got this. What a player rejection because he turns around. When Tara Vinen gets a goal, that's what he has to go for. And Carolina are on the board now. It's a 2-1 lead. They're still up by one. Now Horvath has the puck. He will take it on in his own wing right over again. Slavin broken up. Jarvis with the puck. Now into the offense zone. Pull it back over to lead to Mayfield. The Islanders regain their group in the offensive territory. Stop the play by Anderson. Center clap right towards the outside of the, of the, of the center. In the middle, stopped by Sorokin with a hitch save. Angbell right towards the outside, now in Aurora. Carry along the college. They're regrouping the offense to try to get away, but the defender getting collided. And the inside, Angbell. That shot goes wide and took out of range. Dobson with the puck, back to lead. Shot saved me by Anderson. 3.24 left to go in the second period, and right now they're still getting ready to get an our face off. Now Horvath wins another faceoff. Dabs into Ajo. Right to Lee. Lee finds Engvall. Engvall trying to go again to Horvath's shot and it's stopped again by Burns. Fast takes it over with the puck. 2-0-1. Mine Slavin shoots. Stop me by Sorokin. Here's another angle for Slavin. Right over the Martin net. Fast with it now. Lost the puck and now goes over to Engvall. Angbell listed it over to Ajo. Ajo towards the wing in the corner. And behind the net. Scoop up along the board by Martin. Fashing into Ajo. Slap shots gets blocked up by Stahl. That player just blocking the drive. It was very uh, unpursuitable. That whenever Stahl goes out in front of it, he crouches down. Blocked the shot from Ajo. He had it right. That was a perfect play in for the, for the defense to try to roll him up to do it again. Slavin has the puck now over again to the Islanders' territory. Waits his time. Slav saved by Sorokin. We're nearing down to a final minute in the second period. It's still going to be a hard game to try to take him over. It is a 2-1 to game. They're just going to have to find out if they can get it in now. Is it all for the players or is it just for you? Well, I wouldn't complain that. Slavin right towards the inside. In the middle, stopped by Sorokin. What a fast break here for Slavin, and he still holds on. Center's gliding in towards the offensive zone in the wing. They still have a 2 1 lead under a minute. Polak will take over for the puck. Gives it off to Martin. Martin towards the wing right in the outside, now brings it in. Bashing up. Shot saved me by Anderson. 
Racy Brutalist Pocus Suzuka's. Crashing. The Martin shot. Stopped by Anderson. Over again. Try to give a pass over to Pollock. The buzz it. And it's stopped again by Anderson. And that will end the second period. Terrell Blaney putting it in. They're now on the board. A 2-1 game. Third period is next. We'll see you later after this game of the break. All set and ready for the final period in Game 6. It has been a fun matchup as we all have expected that you all have enjoyed the part of the Islanders and the Hurricanes. The tough matchup in between. Now as we were talking about it before, how did Tara Bynan sneak in and make that shot? Because this shot was turned to be wicked. The Wicked was putting up a, a lot of aggressiveness on the, on the offense because he has room. Turbine was sneaking in right towards the inside of the middle. When he had that timing right, he was right toward it. He says, I'll go ahead and uh, do this one again. And he and he definitely did. His ultimate of this ranging was turning out to be just getting into the team and just trying to get on the board. Now they're here. They never wanted to get shut out again for the part in game six. They wanted to just keep going and get better as they can. Svechikov's shot stop made by Sorokin. Alko rebounds the puck. Kicks it over to Jarvis. Lee takes it away from Jarvis. Now in the offense zone to pick up the run. Burns slides it across. Trying to rebound it and Burns up back to Slavin now over again to Jarvis. Jarvis turns the wing. Shot stop made by Sorokin. Palace moving it over again. Try to give the pass to Engvall. Engvall right towards the middle on the outside, looking for room, and Sanchikov takes it over. Smashed across the wall, Ajo with the puck. Now he digs it over to Slavin. Slavin swings over again to Sanchikov. He moves over to Slavin. Hurricanes are moving inside in the offense zone. Polak taking over to Lee. Lee swings across to Palmieri, and Ajo has it back. Over to Tedderbine and shot when tip wide went very high over the goal. And now Ajo has given it another room to find an open offense. Seven shot stopped by Siroke. Stopping the play with 16.43 to go in the third period. Most teams are getting this thing right and countable and done. They still are trying to make the attacking and they wanted to get back in the game. Now Katemi right over to Pesh. Paris has the puck now, right taking the offense zone inside the uh, wing. Now Pest has the puck. He slides it across to Taravainen. Taravainen over to Katemi. Katemi over again, block the shot, and goes right toward the glass to the wall. Romanov swings it over to Palmieri. And he gets the pass over to Romanov, right to Nelson. Islanders will be getting the offense in the Islander, in the Hurricane territory. Skedji and Katemi has it right, rebounded right over to Pesh. Now Pesh will take it over to the outside. Now that's stuff made by Sorokin. Polak right towards the offense right over to Zikas. So Zikas finds over Fashing. Fashing lost the puck and Martin, Martin will take it over. In the wing now. Finds again to Tara Biden. For Tim Yaman. Fast. Shot. Stop. Made by Sorokin. Ooh, close call because that foot saving was putting a stop. That's very that tricky there. You don't want to let anybody try to like sneak it in and then try to get it over on you. Got it straight to Marnik. Marnik looking this time over. Tries to get the shot. And it stopped and shot went wide. Stall to Marnik. Pollock takes it over. Rebound the puck. Stall. Bastion takes it over. Move around the man. It's Ajo. Ajo swings to Zizikas. Zizikas losing the puck. Goes right over towards the corner of the wall. Goddess here will take it over with the puck. Retries to step on. Step on. Block the shot by Ajo. Either of that call because that was a blocking you made attempt to make that one pulled in. 
I know many of us Avo, but don't get me wrong, they're really on to a great start. Try to put up a third period and try to make their way down to the mid period. It's very that difficult, but don't get caught up if you're trying to play on defense or offense. It's a hard one to maintain ability. Chassis, oh my goodness, that's Sorokin. Sorokin just made a save and Chassis couldn't believe it. Yeah, that tough one was a very uh, bad insult because he was always going to be unlucky to have that one with the luck save and tie the game up. But thank goodness his foot leg was just to help him. Now here's Thompson with the puck. Finds over to Kovala. Kovala right over towards the middle. Move out inside. Slavin back over to Nozen. Nozen trying to move around the offensive run. Right around the wall to the net. Aho with the puck. Now they're swinging over to the offense run to pick up their steam. In the middle, Aho stopped by Anderson with 11.03 to go. And he still holds on. If you're looking for it towards the next game, the next game we got here is the Tampa Bay Bolts at home facing against the Toronto Maple Leafs back at Amalie Arena. In game six, we have a next commentary that will be happening here. It will be Paintbrush, OJ, and the center ice we have across from here is Test 2. The next part of the game, after that one, we will be seeing the next one coming in. As right now, they are the next tough teams to make that one count. As right now, the Winnipeg Jets are still fighting their way over again to face against the Minnesota Wilds. Then across from here, we have is the Kraken and the Knights. He scores and ties the game! Well, a tough one to be out there because Jarvis was in there. He was wide open, gangs to Sebastian Alvo. He got the third eye in. A great setup for the point for Seth Jarvis. After Sebastian Ivo picking up the run, he had his eye open. He found it right away and gave the pass to Jarvis. That touch shot was turning to be a successful run to make that one to tie this game up. What a great play. We're about to lead, stopped by Anderson. Jarvis battling on the puck. Burns right over in the outside, now swinging over to Slavin. Back to Arco. Arco racing towards the wing. Pushes back. In the back behind the net. Now Mario Mayfield will come out and do it. Palich getting a little bit bumped up. Already past the midway period, here's Ango. Shot! Glove saved by Anderson over to Slavin. Now Nekis will have the puck here right towards the inside of the lane. Trying to pull it loose, Mayfield over it again to Angbell. Angbell trying to deliver it over to Nelson. Nelson gets bumped up, gives it off to Mayfield. Move around and he scores! Back in the lead and he has four goals for Mayfield. An excellent comeback because Mayfield and the team are just getting it up that strong. What a comeback for the Islanders. They're backed up on one point lead with a three to two score, eight fourteen to go in the third period. Now over there we have his Burns. Get the Nickus and stopped by Sorokin. Here's to line in. The Timmy stopped by Sorokin. Pellich over again right toward the offensive Nelson. He finds Paul Mary. Paul Mary towards the wing. Finds the Nelson and Hits off the pad, off by Anderson. Carolina in the attacking zone. Get a little bit of a piece of it and try to keep it out. He looks like he was battling it out there very injury because it doesn't really appear to us that because when he has that one in there, he was going to try to like keep it out and then give it up with the next player inbounding. That's the hard set. But don't get inbounding if you're just going to keep it going and over and over again. It's very that tricky in order to make that one play more aggressive than they have. That's a tough one wherever they come in. And final game for one in game number six here for tonight, we will have is the Kings and Oilers at Rogers Place. Here's Pass with the puck. Now over to Fast. He gives it off to Martinet. Martinet swings over to Sketchy. 5.45 left to go in the third period. Stahl lost the puck. Polak takes it over. 
Racing towards the offense. Stall grabs the puck. This is giving a lot of battle battle the fever on the run. And Romanov swings the fashion. Fashioning still looking for an open man on the run. The carry out to Martin. Martin, pass broken up. And it's Skedgy with the puck. Passing five minutes left to play in the third period. Fast to Martin now. Martin up swinging it over. Now pass to Skedgy. Get bumped up in the zone. Very close call. Not a hooking call, not a slash call, and not a tripping call. They're still safe. Here's Fashing on the outside, firing around the, around the net. De Horan did such a call to Yarvis. Yarvis went bombing down too shortly and stall right over into the wing. Stall with the puck shot. Backhander went wide. Yaris pulls up the center call. The tipping shot stopped by Sorokin, and now Pollock will take it over. The Islanders regain their group on offense to pick up their strength. Pellets reach over to Engvall. Engvall in the middle. Slam shot stopped Bay by Anderson. Three minutes left to play in the third period. They're seemingly they were going out there, and that's because they were just keeping it over with the offense run. They were just trying to like leave them alone. They have nobody out there to give it along to. That's why they keep on shooting and just trying to take the goalie out right away. Same thing going with Devils and Rangers. It may have been a tough one to keep him out. Horvath shot, Anderson left save. 2.14 left to go in the third period. About to get ready for the faceoff. And with the hero of the call, we have is Sebastian Alvaro with Silver Spoon standing by. Sebastian Alvaro got a very good eye on the angle gear. He made that with a great pass over to Yarvis. With that shot, it turned out just like that. And they know that Sebastian Alvo can keep it going again and ready for the next part of the game if the team loses it up with the momentum. Over on another Alvo. And that might be a tough one to keep it all, all over in between. Here's Nekas right towards this middle. Taramina moves around across. Mayfield takes it over and now Paul Mary has one. Fires around the net. dehan has got the puck here and we're going to Carolina zone. Turbinen into the zone. One minute to play in the third period and make a shot to fuck it off wide. Turbinen still holds on. Oh, gets bumped up. Katemi right over it again. Dops in. Over again to Nelson. Nelson gets bumped out. And here's Ajo. Back the other way to Swarbot. Now Dobson has one. Moves around the player. Advantage to Paul Mary and stop by Anderson. Got a spare away to Tarabina with 30 seconds to go. They're calling for an extra skater on. And here they go, and Anderson is off the ice. They're ready to do it. Shotzi lost the puck. Sebastian Alvo on the other hand to Horvath. Long shot. Went target wide. That's close call. They could have got that one just the right timing to go in. They really got to step it up. Last possession. This is it. Five seconds. Knows it. Shots the shot. And save me. That ends the game. And that will be the Islanders to tie this game up. Advancing to game seven. They're not going anywhere because there's no quit here in on Long Island zone. The range was just a better to make it happen. All team, we salute United as one. The Islanders are getting a great celebration here in Game 6 here at the UBS Arena. And this has been a great night and for definitely an amazing game happening here in Long Island, New York. With me, fan along with Son of Beast and Silver Spoon, this has been your presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs on EA Sports. Thanks for watching and have a great day, everyone. All right there, fan. Thank you so much. And we can't wait to see what this next game comes in. Now it's time to check out your three-star players of the game. Your third star goes out to Scott Mayfield with a goal and four bits. Got a little bit all alone, but the little cross around net got a good timing. The second star on the other hand goes out to Brock Nelson. A goal and assist. Really did see it where it was going. And for Nelson, made that one in there to go right around it and made that goal. And your first star on the player goes out to all Islanders of Ilya Sorokin. 43 saves in a game, that is crazy.
Here's how they did with the total statistics. 45 shots on goal for Carolina and 39 for the Islanders. 24 hits and 14 hits. 639, 639, correct my apologies. 535 here for the time on attack. 94 percentage for that passing aggressiveness here and 88 percentage as Carolina still has it around again. 28 face-up wins for the New York Islanders over 7. And penalty minutes was 4 minutes in the penalty box for New York Islanders. And no power play goals for the Carolina Hurricanes. This is tough though, and nobody got it all cleared out. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy, enjoyed this part of the game. And this has been a presentation of the Eastern Conference of the Islanders and the Hurricanes. We'll see them back later once Game 6 has been complete. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace out everyone for a while as the MB NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sport. Excuse me, on EA Sports style. Thanks for joining us and have a great day in Long Island, New York. Until next time, see you later for the next game of the Maple Leafs and the Lightnings. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.